Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a collapsible product description section on Shopify. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to do that with no code required as well, just utilizing the Shopify uh, sections and utilizing how to add dynamic content in your Shopify store. So that's what we're going to be diving into here in today's video, how to create those drop down product descriptions, such as the ones you see here uh, on this beanie. Now, now, we're going to be editing it just a little bit more. As you can see, by default on a Shopify store, you have a traditional Shopify product description. Uh, in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to add it to a collapsible row. And then as you can see, when it drops down, you have the product description there. I'll be showing you a bit more as well on how to edit it and how to maybe make it a little bit more clean as well, just so you just have that drop down. So that's what we're going to be going into here in today's video. But before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's Brennanbleski.com forward slash Shopify will take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. And without ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So first things first, of course, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged in to your Shopify store. Next, you're going to come over here to the product section and select any product. This could be really any product in your store. What you need to do first is make sure that you have actually written a product description for your product. Product. Okay, first things first, you need to have written some sort of description for your product and you need to make sure, you know, you add it to the description section here in your Shopify store. This is important because this is actually where Shopify will be pulling the data from for this drop down description and the collapsible description that we're going to be adding to the Shopify store. It's going to be pulling the data from right here, exactly right here. So as you could see before, uh, when we come down here to the collapsible row, we click on it. It's the stay warm in style, same text here that's on the description. And if you go to any other product as well, uh, this will dynamically update as well to any product on your Shopify store. So if we go here, we select the collapsible row. As you can see, this one displays, hey, these jeans are made from organic cotton. It's not talking about the beanie because it's the jeans description. So just wanted to make that clear. Again, we're gonna be cleaning up a little bit of the look and feel of it. Uh, but first you need to write a description um, for your products, right? Any one that you wanna have. Once you have have written the product description then next what you need to do in order to display this on your product page on Shopify to add the drop down description what we're gonna do is come over here to the left hand side and click on online store this will then bring us to the theme editor for Shopify now currently I am using the dawn theme on Shopify uh, this should work just fine as long as you're using any of the latest up-to-date themes from Shopify utilizing the online store to setup. Uh, it is important because this will not work unless you're using the newest up-to-date themes on Shopify. Again, it's not just exclusive to Dawn theme. Uh, this should work on pretty much any of the new up-to-date themes that Shopify has. They have a wide variety of different free themes as well. As you can see, things like Scent, Spotlight, Craft, you know, essentially this should work on any of them because they all utilize the same uh, back-end functionality, but I am using Dawn just to give you an idea there. What you're going to do is come over here to the black customize button, and then this will bring us into the theme editor. So we're going into customize. Now, next, this will bring you to the Shopify homepage. What we're gonna to wanna to do is come up here to the top middle, click on homepage. We're gonna click on products, and then we're gonna click on default product. This is the default product template for your Shopify store. Now, make sure when you're doing this preview to, to make it easier to see, uh, is that you change it to a product that actually does have a product description written uh, because this, this Rolex watch does not. So we're gonna select the beanie uh, just so it makes it easier to see. Um, when we add the description section. So by default on your product page, you're going to have this product information section uh, on your Shopify store, right? So you have product information, and you can actually manipulate some of this stuff if you wanted to click here and maybe move stuff around. Like right? if you wanted to move like the quantity selector up here above the variant picker, obviously we don't have variants in this case, maybe we move it above the pricing. Uh, as you can see, you have the quantity selector now above the pricing. So if you wanted to move anything around here, um, that's essentially what that process looks like. And we are going to be doing that because when we scroll down here, um, as you can see, we have the default description. Now, in order to better show the, the drop down description, what you're going to want to do is then click on this description here. 
um, just so you see where it is. So it's description, and then you're going to click this little hide icon. Alternatively, you can also do it over here on the left-hand side. It might be a little bit easier. Um, you're going to mouse over description, and you're not going to delete it necessarily because if you want to add it back in the future, it makes it easier just to hide it. So we're going to click that little eye icon. And then that will hide the traditional product description. Uh, so you can eliminate some of that extra unnecessary text that you're gonna be having on your product page because you don't want two descriptions. It's just not great for SEO um, and search engine optimization, all those things. So you wanna get rid of that um, basic description that is just displaying the text. Next, to add the dynamic drop-down description. Now, by default on the Dawn theme, it should have added these like materials, shipping and returns, dimensions, or at least some sort of collapsible row section. Uh, but to show you what it looks like from scratch, because I get that maybe on the Dawn theme, maybe you've already deleted that or something, or maybe uh, your Dawn theme didn't have that. I know a lot of times it does add that by default. So if you wanted to get rid of that, um, we're, we're just gonna go ahead and um, hide it in this case, um, just so you don't have to see it. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and, and hide all those sections, those collapsible rows because we don't really need them there. So this is what it would look like essentially if you just had nothing on the page, you just have the add to cart button. So to add it from scratch, what you're gonna do is come over here underneath the buy button, uh, you're gonna click add block, and then we're gonna go down to collapsible row. So this will add a collapsible row that is going to give us the ability to create the collapsible product description. Once we've added the collapsible row, we're going to click into it, and then this will bring us into the collapsible row editor. Uh, again, all I did was come over here and click on this, click there. Uh, alternatively, you could click it over here too. Um, and then that will bring up the collapsible row editor. So once you're inside this editor, you're gonna wanna name it um, in the heading section that would explain like what is the dropdown. So I would add, you know, description, essentially. Um, you could name this something else. Maybe you could also name it like item details. That's another one that could be good. Next, you have the icon. So you can select none if you um, don't really want an icon. Personally, I do like to have icons here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go with like a clipboard because I feel like that's pretty applicable to description um, or maybe uh, product description, something like that. Maybe item details, you know, you can name it however you want. Uh, but essentially that will be kind of like the face of it. So it's very obvious to your customers what it is. Now, next to connect the actual dynamic data source, we're going to come over here to row content. You're gonna click on this little um, cylinder icon that says connect to dynamic source. You're gonna click connect dynamic source. Then here you're under current block row content from page. You're going to click this here. Uh, and under current block, you're going to, instead of current block, you're going to select current template and click on product. Once you have clicked on product, that will bring up this menu here with all of the different data sources that you're able to connect from on Shopify. And in this case, we're going to click description because we want the product description data to be dynamically connected here for this uh, click for the collapsible row content, right? So we're going to click description. And then now if we come here, we click the actual dropdown. As you can see, the product description has now been added to the collapsible row via the description. Now it's important to do it this way by connecting the dynamic source because then it will automatically update depending on what product you're on, right? So if you're on the jeans, it'll update to the jeans page. If you're on the beanie page, it'll update to the beanie page. It's not just static, it will actually dynamically update for every single product page automatically. So it's updated across your entire site. So what we're gonna do is then click up here, top right hand corner and click save. And then this will save the collapsible row product description. Let's go ahead and go back to the jeans page just to show you what it looks like. You know, before we edited things, we're gonna go ahead and refresh it here. And now, as you can see, we have the little drop down, and we click on product description. So we have the product description drop down. We click it and boom, we have the product description now inside a collapsible row. So that does kind of clean up your product page quite a bit if you're trying to keep things a little bit more minimal. Again, you could even go through here and honestly, and, and, and even if you wanted to maybe hide uh, some other elements too, if you don't necessarily need them. Uh, but this is essentially what the default would, would sort of look like, right? You have jeans, the price, quantity, add to cart, buy now. 
and then you have now the drop down product description um, so it just cleans up your site a little bit more you know alternatively you could also add other drop downs too, like maybe some shipping details and keep that inside the drop down section you could also do that as well um, but yeah guys that's pretty much how you add these collapsible product descriptions again you don't need any code uh, all you have to do is connect the dynamic data sources within shopify on the online store 2.0 setups and this is on the dawn theme and it looks pretty nice in my opinion right the little clipboard product description i think it looks pretty clean very easy to do and all you have is that little product description um, so guys that pretty much wraps up this video here today again before we leave I do want to mention of course if you don't already have a Shopify store you can check out that first link down below in the video description that's brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify I'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial again that's that first link down below in the video description and again guys if you found this tutorial helpful on how to add a collapsible product description on your Shopify store then be sure to smash that like button hit the subscribe button as well and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video anyway guys that's all for today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.